Hi, so we're here at um, Sydney Motorsport Park and we're shooting um, top rider training, which is a motorcycle training exercise for people who want to get better at riding. So today on the track we're trying to capture some mood and feeling. So with that we're doing pan shots at a 60th and a 30th. We're getting down on the track and shooting low with the bikes coming in and trying to capture as many different angles as we can so we can see the different versions of what we like and what we don't like. And that's what you should be doing when you're shooting is actually trying to give yourself as much choice as you can and then you go and edit and um, hopefully you get some great stuff um, in your edit. We're up here on top of the hill because I want to get on top of the riders and photograph them from above and then I'm going to do one with uh, a high shutter speed and one with a slow shutter speed to shoot as a pan to see how interesting that is. On this corner, what I was trying to achieve was to try and get as tight as I could on them. So actually freezing them at a thousandth and two thousandth of a second, and also doing another pan just to show movement again at a thirtieth of a second. And then you sort of take that philosophy into other sports as well, and freezing action and trying to get mood and stuff in whatever sport you shoot. It can give you an interesting effect. You don't really know what you can achieve unless you try and that's what it's about. It's about trying different things and trying something new. So a lot of it is um, trial and error with things and, and having fun. So just remember when you're finished on the track, you always come back and you take a few pictures in the pits and around the car park and stuff. It's always a great way to add to your story and to your day. And I hope these tips were helpful.